Most kids are often taught to keep their hands to themselves. This is a place where actually you get to put your hands on the other person and, and roll and wrestle without actually striking. There's no, there's no punches, no kicks. And, uh, and, and, and as far as a place to come learn the sport of jiu-jitsu, uh, we did a lot of research, uh, we looked around, there's plenty of opportunities, but uh, as we dove into the research, we realized uh, uh, clearly uh, there was no other option except for Gillibel. Uh, Paulo and his team here, Andre and the different coaches, do a tremendous job of, um, with a lot of love and support. In, in teaching uh, the, the art of jiu-jitsu. It's that when you do your research, make sure that you find somebody that, like uh, Apollo that has um, the kind of uh, expertise and the pedigree, uh, as well as the ability. There's a lot of guys out there that know how to do jiu-jitsu, but there's very few, I think, that can also have both, both the, the, the pedigree, the wins, the tournaments, but also the ability to teach, because not everyone's gonna wanna win tournaments, not everyone's going to want to take over the world in this sport. Uh, it's a great sport on any level. If you're just there to train for a workout, if you're there to, to, to um, uh, uh, take in with the camaraderie with all the other people in the gym. Uh, but uh, I think Gillibel, there's, 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 no, there's, there's nothing comes close to it. In my experience, in any martial art level, you know, some art forms in a couple years you get your black belt. This is really not about belts, it's about a quality of life. I like jiu-jitsu because me and Coach Ricardo are friends because the rug is so jumpy, I want to jump on it. And the rope is so slidey, I want to slide on it. Hi, my name's Pat. I've been training with Paolo Be the Bell here for about four years now. Uh, just received my purple belt. Um, couldn't ask for a better group of people to train with. Great academy, very technical. Um, it's just been you know, a life-changing experience to join the academy here and, you know, with the, the, the camaraderie among the students here, uh, the tournaments we compete in, um, it's just been great. Um, it's a lifestyle. Um, I can't, uh, I can't be happier than, my goal was to get my purple belt uh, when I started age 37. I'm now 41. Uh, just accomplished that and now, man, might as well go to black belt. Uh, take me probably another four to five years, but hey, you know, it's all good. Um, Paulo and the, the level of training that we have here is, is bar none best in the world. Um, we train with uh, some of the best, you know, other academies that are out there, and we train with some of the best grapplers in the world, and Paulo and uh, Kata and everyone else that helps train the students here. Um, Man, it's it's uh, all, great group of people um, and cutting edge, the best academy around. I've been training over here under Sensei Paulo for about a year and a half now, and um, man, since I've been here, my life's changed. I lost about 60 pounds when I got here. Sensei Paulo helped me change my diet, work out, get in shape. Went from a size 42 to wearing a size 30. Hey, my name is Julie. I've been training with Yabel for about two years now, and I absolutely love it. I actually started not, I didn't know anything about jiu-jitsu when I first started. Um, I was actually looking for like a kickboxing or some kind of exercise class to kind of help get in shape and be more active. Um, me and my friend were actually just walking by Yabel when they were at the other location and decided to walk in and try it out. Uh, after one class, we were completely hooked. So we started coming back after that quite often. The people are really friendly. It's a little scary at first because you don't know what you're doing and it seems like everyone knows so much, but they were never afraid to answer all my questions and I just kind of kept coming back. Uh, it's taught me a lot actually since then. Uh, Self-discipline definitely <laughs> is one of them and confidence too. I think one of the biggest things for a girl training jujitsu is that you don't have to be really big and really strong to have an advantage over someone else. So it kind of makes you feel a little bit safer if you're walking around the streets alone or in your place that you're not familiar with. So that's a big thing too. But uh, I definitely think anyone should at least come try it out. We have a few girls training here and everyone's super friendly. It's like a big family. Hi, my name's Alicia. I've been training at Gila Bell for about four months now. I started with my daughter who is four years old. She's in the little ninja class and um, after watching her train here for a little while I decided I would give it a try. Um, I started just for exercise mainly and then realized that it 
made me feel very confident and um, brought a lot of self-esteem to myself. I think it's a great thing for any woman, uh, child to know how to defend themselves and I've really gained a lot of uh, confidence and discipline out of this whole academy. Everyone's very friendly and um, they make us feel very welcome. I've been a member now for about a month and a half and I'm having a great time. I'm uh, getting uh, in a little bit better shape. I started a little late. I'm, uh, I'll be 50 in, uh, in February. So, uh, you know, it was just another way for me to, uh, to maintain my health and to, um, and to find something that was a uh, positive, uh, you know, to do in my life. And, uh, and I've met a bunch of really good people. Um, it is a uh, family environment and the training is, uh, it's exhausting at times, but it's certainly uh, been uh, a very positive experience for me, and uh, I'd recommend it to anybody. Uh, hi, my name's Greg Tyson. I've uh, been with the Guilleville Academy for about two and a half years now, and uh, as far as the benefits that I've uh, gained from training jiu-jitsu, I was 185 pounds when I started here, and I thought I was in shape about two and a half months later, I was down to 158. Uh, leaned out and felt like I took, felt like I was about 22 again. I'm 43 right now. Uh, yeah, I've been here in eight months, and uh, this family here was welcomed me and my son, which is, has autism, and it's made him uh, his mobile skills a lot better. Uh, I've lost 54 pounds, and it's just the family oriented uh, martial arts. And Paulo and Gabali are just like family here, and uh, I just want to tell them thank you for everything. My name is Derek Delmonico. This is my son Dylan. We brought Dylan here about five or six months ago. Dylan was a little bit on the shy side, and uh, you know we thought we wanted to get him into some uh, jujitsu. So we looked at quite a few different schools, and we chose Gilo Bell. Um, thankfully. Uh, Sensei Paulo did a couple one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with Dylan and that man has more patience than any person in this world and he worked wonders with him, brought him out of his shell. He's a confident young kid now and he's doing incredible in this jiu-jitsu class. It's like a family around here and um, we love being here. It's fantastic. Right Dylan? It's his favorite thing he could ever do. My name is Sean Connor. I'm a Marine at Camp Pendleton and uh, I've lived and trained in several places uh, all across the country. Never met an instructor as good as Paulo, and I've never trained at a place that I enjoyed as much as training here at Kilo Bells. Um, so it's, it's a great workout, it's a lot of fun, and it's good people. Come check it out. It's probably one of the best things you can do. You know, I probably lost 15 to 20 pounds being here. Um, it's helped my discipline off, off the mat. You know, my, all my problems that I have in my normal life are so much better now. It's made me a strong person. I'm better with my kids. I spend more time with my kids because of this. You know, I love being here. Um, I would recommend it for anybody, male, female, young kids, older. I didn't start till I was 46 years old and uh, I'm gonna be going on 48 and I feel like a youngster again. It's probably the best thing I could have done. Best choice I've ever made. And uh, I would recommend everybody coming down here and and uh, seeing what Andre and Paulo can really do for you because uh, it's a big step in your life and you'll never regret it. Me being in the military, being gone away, um, uh, deployed and whatnot, uh, keeping the family busy, keeping them in mind when I'm gone. They've uh, played that um, important role for them. Uh, not having any other family here within uh, the close area, they've been our family. My dad's deployed. Usually we come to jiu-jitsu more often to keep our mind off of him being gone. Hi guys, I'm Paulo Guilherme. I'm here with Stephanie. She is the mother of uh, Ben and Solomon, some of our kids. And I'm going to ask some, some questions here so she, you know, talk about what she feels about the program and, uh, you know, the kids, the kids, you know, they, they like the program. So, Stephanie, um, when you first joined, first joined Academy, what was the... The, the, the benefit we were looking for, like, you came, you brought your kids for a reason. Yeah, what was that reason? Well, it was more my husband that wanted the kids to come for just um, really self-defense. And I have a five-year-old and a seven-year-old here. And um, 
they've, I was real surprised when I brought them to see the discipline and the, just the structure and just how well they listened and the, and the yes ma'am and I was very impressed with it. And how long have you guys been here with us? We've been here about uh, a year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. Or a year and a long half. time. Yeah, yeah. that's yes. been a while though. Yeah. And uh, since you guys joined to now, uh, why have you seen your kids? Have you seen them like uh, improving, like, you know, uh, you know, the respect, getting more confident? Yes, uh, yes. Both of my boys are very, very confident. Um, both of them say yes ma'am at home and I constantly referring to jiu-jitsu and, and you and I'm going to tell Paulo and, and that's not what they would do, you know, or say or that's not very respectful and they're just on it. They're just, they're really good. They're so, really good. so you use jiu-jitsu at home? Absolutely. To push them to have more discipline? Yes, absolutely. All right. yes. Okay, cool, yes. cool. I'm they respect their instructors and if I... You know, Andre, the kids love Andre, so if I say his name, they're, they straighten up pretty fast. Good.